By the power of Grayskull. I have the power! Or we have the power. It depends if he's transforming with the rest of the team. They say we instead of I. Uh, anyways, <laughs> brand new He-Man for a brand new generation. Um, in this video, I will be opening up and reviewing this He-Man figure from He-Man and the Masters of the Universe CGI animated Netflix series. That's what I'm just going to keep saying every time I open up a figure from this line because I'm not sure how to differentiate the series from the previous He-Man series or figure lines that came out in the past. So I'm just going to keep saying CGI animated Netflix series because that's exactly what it is. Um, so in the background, you can see other various variations of He-Man that I happen to own as a part of my collection. I have the 2002 series He-Man which uh, they somewhat re-released a redesign for in the uh, Revelations line. And he looks pretty cool. I would like to collect that one. Uh, I have the Origins one and Revelations, of course, and the Savage He-Man also from Revelations. Um, I know a lot of people had mixed opinions about the Revelations show. I actually liked it because I saw where they were going with it. And people were just too quick to judge the show based off what they've seen so far. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. They're not really doing that to He-Man. No, no, He-Man's going to come back. Yeah, for sure. And he, and he did came back. And it was awesome. But, you know, a lot of people already have their set opinions about the show and think it sucks. I actually didn't mind it. I think it's awesome. I hope they start a brand new season because they hinted at a uh, returning classic villain. Maybe. We'll see. Alright, so, and here's, yeah, here's our brand new He-Man, our 2021, right? 2021, 2022, I'm going to say 2021 He-Man um, character for the new generation. Of course, you can, you can see the proportions are a bit silly, but, you know, it is a cartoon that's made for children, and... I don't think they're really going to care about the proportions of these guys. As long as they look like cool superheroes or if they look like they came out like right out of the comic book. I think that's just good enough for kids. <laughs> um, but for us older collectors, it depends how much you really like the He-Man property to start collecting this line. Um, like I mentioned in a few uh, or one of my other reviews, I mentioned that I liked season one and I got caught up on season two and three of this show and I did not mind some of the redesigns of some of these classic characters but anyways let's finally open up this guy and review him all right so here is He-Man from He-Man and the Masters of the Universe CGI animated Netflix show and he looks exactly how as he appears on the show um but uh Going over the articulation, it's pretty basic. It's the most basic of articulation on an action figure. Uh, it's nothing too crazy. Um, unless you get this guy under the Revelations line, because I believe they made the, another uh, variation of this toy, but under the Revelations line. And, uh, you know, that one is for more serious collectors who want more detail and articulation out of their action figures. So, uh, yeah, if you want to collect this guy, go with that one. But if you want to stay consistent and get this guy within this particular line, then get this one as well. Um, so articulation-wise, well, he does that. Forward and back with the arm. They do not spread out. Does turn at the wrist. And, of course, like most of the 6-inch action figures from He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, or any of the previous line, like let's say Origins, you could turn him at the waist and he does his punching action. Yeah, and he has that ab crunch there where you could do that. Uh, his head does turn. It's um, not really on a... Well, yeah, it's... I don't know, I can't really tell because that hair... That hair feels like it's hindering his head from moving back. So I can't really tell if it's on a ball joint. But it does turn left and right. I'm going to say it's not on a ball joint. But it could be. I could be wrong. Um, the legs. Forward. Back. And that's it. 
No knee joints. Well, let's see. That looks like... No, yeah. That does not turn. So no articulated knees or ankles. Just right there. The entire leg moves. Nothing else. All right. And that's it. That's about it for articulation on this guy. Of course, he comes with his new power sword here, which looks very sci-fi. But, you know, if you've seen the show, it pretty much has an ongoing theme of uh, futuristic designs for characters and vehicles and stuff like that. And it has a peg right there. So you can put this in the peg hole on, on He-Man's back. Uh, I assume it goes this way. So you could store his weapon on his back and you don't have to have him carrying it the entire time. There we go. So not much to him. Pretty basic as with most of the figures in this line from this new show. Um, at least, you know, one positive, one major positive thing I could say about these figures is that the characters look just like how they do on the show. Um, even though, you know, most of these figures could use a little bit more paint, but once again, these are made for younger, uh, younger age line or younger age group. So younger kids are not going to really care too much about paint applications on a figure. And yeah, both almost similar in size. But if you bring in, let's say, Skeletor Reborn, uh, whoops. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much that's almost exactly how it went on the show in Season 3. Um, except He-Man gave up his power sword to Skeletor to save his friend, uh, ram -Mim, Which, I forgot her real name. They call her by a real name sometimes, but I forget. yeah, I forgot. Uh, yeah, so size-wise, next to Skeletor Reborn. Eh, about an inch taller. Yeah, about an inch taller than He-Man. Ugh, the accessories keep falling off. Uh, Skeletor Reborn here. Uh, let's see. Get the sword back in his hand. There we go. Let's compare him with Cosmic Terra Skeletor. As you can see, he's Cosmic Terra Skeletor. Hold on. Get He-Man to stand. There we go. Cosmic Terra Skeletor, yeah, much, much bigger. I'm going to have to move the camera back, of course. There we go. So, there you go. little size comparison there with other figures in the line, or at least with some of the villains. Um, I still need to open up some of the other good guys and villains and review them. So, I'll take these guys and move them to the side here. All right. So I think that's it. That's going to complete this review for He-Man from He-Man and the Masters of the Universe Netflix series. CGI animated Netflix series, that is. <laughs> uh, not a bad looking figure. You know, if you want to start collecting this particular line, I would say he's a good pickup. Um, but, you know, if you're a more serious collector that wants something a little more, you know, with articulation and detail... Uh, collect this guy under the Revelations line, because they did make one. Uh, they made one of him and Skeletor, I believe. No one else yet, as of yet. Uh, alright, so thanks for watching this video review, and I'll see you guys in the next He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, uh, unboxing and review.